Hello everybody, welcome to my guide to making a macro with Affinity Photo. Now Affinity Photo is a great tool which is a replacement basically for Photoshop. So uh, if you haven't taken advantage of Affinity Photo yet with the one-off cost then I would advise you to do so. My astrophotography image processing guide using Affinity Photo is available as well. So uh, as well as promoting that of course i'm going to show you how to do a macro because actions that you use in photoshop don't work with affinity photo so you need to set up a macro to do some of your processing jobs for you and make life a lot easier so i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to open one of my uh, images now this one is actually a raw image that I took of some noctilucent clouds a few days ago and because it's a raw file I've opened it up and it's gone into the develop persona up here and you can see I'm not going to touch any of these controls here I'm going to leave it exactly as it is and I'm going to just click the develop button there we go so it'll take a number of seconds to actually develop the image and you can see it's quite a dark image. It looked quite good on the camera at the time. We all know the problem. You go out and take your images and it doesn't look quite as good when you get it back home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some adjustments to that. And because I took over 200 images of this particular display and I wanted to make an animation of the whole thing. So as you can imagine, over 200 images, I've got to do the same process to every single image to bring it out a little bit better. So the way you do that is to create a macro. So we need to make sure two things are visible. If you go to view, studio, and then down here, you've got library and you've got macro. Make sure that those two are ticked and visible. And they may appear, once you've done that, they may appear up on the left hand side here, but you can drag them down and I've dragged mine into here. So here's library and it actually says rec at the moment, but that's actually the macro. So it's asking you to record first and then library and record. So I've dragged mine down there. So make sure macro is ticked and then click the red button. You see it says start recording. So actually once we click that, it's now recording every single thing I do within the program so the first thing i'm going to do to bring out the uh, not to loosen clouds a bit better i'm going to go curves so i'm going to increase the curve just like that make sure you don't clip it across the top i might bring this down a bit just to make it a little bit more contrasty there you go okay i'm also going to do layer new live filter layer i'm going to sharpen that and do an unsharp mask on there as well just to bring out the detail in the clouds just a little bit more there we go and click merge okay so that's applied that to the image and then it's done so that's about what i want okay you might want to give a little bit more color so if you click the vibrance tool here and then just increase the saturation slightly just to bring out some color a little bit more and then click merge as well so that's our macro done we've built out the brightness we bought out a bit more color and we've sharpened the image somewhat so you see some of the structure around here really really nicely so if we stop the recording and then once we've done that that's recorded everything we did so if we click add to library and we'll call it something like NLC adjustment four because I know I've done some before that and click OK. So what that's done, that's now recorded the macro and then you can see what it's done. And if we click library, you can see right down here, we've got NLC adjustment four. So let's close that image without saving it. Oh, it's, um, it says not responding. Yeah, we know it's been modified, but we not, don't want to save it. So if we now open, open recent. 
There it is. Just click develop without touching any of the tools. Once we've got the picture open, go to library, go to the macro you've recorded, one click and it applies the macro you recorded to the image. And you can do that for all your images and save them. But there is an easier way, which I'll tell you next time about how to do a batch and get it to save all the images automatically. So that's how to record a macro and save it ready for your processing. Don't forget, my guide to astrophotography image processing using Affinity Photo is available on my website, star-gazing.co.uk.